Now, I want to wrap up this conversation with a couple of youth examples, rather, right? Example where your harmony across family, business, faith has been challenged. Uh, feel free to share whatever you're comfortable sharing and yeah. how you're able to yeah. overcome it. Because I could see that a lot of folks or, or have been or will be in the same type of situation that we've probably been on and curious to know how that, that harmony, that balance has been challenged and how you were able to overcome it. Yeah, I mean, gosh, man, those businesses that I talked about up front, those failures that I had were were definitely part of that journey. I didn't get, like, the criteria that I mentioned, we didn't actually establish that criteria until five years ago. So I had businesses that had crashed and burned without that criteria uh, up until that point. So I'd say where the conflict has been, where the major conflicts happen is where I don't have a clear lens uh, of decision-making, of how to make good decisions in the moment. I'll give you an example. Just at the dawn of the pandemic, actually, you know, just a devastating few months. The fact that the worst quarters that we've ever had in, in, our, in any company's history that I've ever been in. Worst, worst quarters. And so there was this particular choice that a lot of businesses made to get rid of staff to, you know, on that kind of stuff. And so I was faced with this opportunity, with this, not opportunity, but faced with this decision, what the right thing to do is. And so I had the, so in theory, I could say what's right for the business. I could say what's right for the team. I could say what's right for my family. There's a whole range of different things I could put to the play. But if I think about the, the, uh, that particular tension of faith, family, and business, that's where, that's where it really came in for me because I could prioritize the business and say, I'm just going to get rid of all these people and, and, and soak up all that profits, make sure that I'm okay. The business is okay. Uh, at that point in time, get rid of some of the people and make sure I, I capture some of that, that revenue and say, okay, I'm going to sort of cash for my family. Well, I could actually just look at the people and say, how do we solve this together? And so in that moment, I have to admit, it took me, it took me a little while to make the decision because of the intensity of what it was. I ended up making the decision of coming to the team and saying, hey guys, here's what it is. I'm asking you right now. I'm being really humble. I'm asking you, I don't know the answer to this right now. I don't have the answer. So what I'm asking is you're helping in, in thinking through some of the things here and making some decisions. And what I found in just that moment, which was probably the most vulnerable I've ever been in business, I'd rather do it by that, most vulnerable I've ever been. It was perhaps the most inspiring time for me to see the team step up, see them step up and, and even come to me and say, Hey, Jermaine, look, I know you have a big family here. We're willing to take a pay cut for the next six months and have a team come and do that. Now that, that was really inspiring to me. It was deeply humbling. And so I look at a moment like that and I'm not even saying that I thought that the first time around, my first premise was a gut reaction was to cut losses and move fast. But if I looked at my criteria and I really thought about my, my face here and the, get this gift, the stewarding of the things that are around me, it's not that you don't make hard decisions. And if pe people are wrong for the business, they should be, they should leave and you should give them, give the grace to do that. But, um, that particular decision was, was really tough for me at the time, but I was really inspired by how the team showed up. That's not to say that the team is exactly the same today because it isn't. But for that particular period, um, that was that was a really tough moment. Yeah.